Hi students, this is Nagalakshmi. In yesterday class, we will learn the concept of null pointers, void pointers and pointer expressions. Now, today I would like to explain the concept of pointers and array, pointers and strings and array of pointers. Now the concept is pointers and array. Before going to the concept of pointers and array, first tell what is mean by pointer. Pointer is a variable which holds the address of other variables such as arrays, strings, structures, functions, etc. In the previous class, we can see how the pointer can points to the variable address. Now, we will learn how the pointer can points to the array address. Now, we will learn the how the pointer can points to the array address. For this purpose, first we create an array. Example, data type, array name, size, list of values. Here, I will take data type integer, array name ARR, size 4, list of values 1, 2, 3, 4. At the time of declaration, the compiler will allocate memory for the array or variables, anything. So, here I will take the array name ARR and the sizes of array is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Array index start with 0, 1, 2, 3. The first element of array is at uh, 10, second element is at 11, third element is at 12, fourth element is 13 at addresses. The values of array is 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, I will declare a pointer variable ptr by using data type star ptr so here i will declare the pointer variable ptr now i will assign the address of array to the pointer now i will assign the address of array to the pointer this is done by using ptr is equal to a address of ARR of 0. So, the pointer can points to the starting address of the array because I will give the index 0. It is the starting address of the array. So, the PTR can store the address of first element of the array. This is also done by using array name ptr is equal to address of arr arr means name of the array this is the starting address of the array or base address arr is also pointing to the starting address so the pointer uh, pointing to the starting address if we give ptr is equal to address of ARR of 1 then the pointer can points to the address of second element of the array. Next concept is pointers and strings. Pointers and strings like assigning array address to the pointers similarly pointers and strings. We can also assign string address to the pointer. That means pointer can points to string. Here, for this purpose, I will take the string by using data type array name size is equal to group of characters. Here, I will take the data type char array name str size 10 and group of characters high. 
Next, I will declare the pointer variable PTR. Here, both the data types are same. Yeah. So, I will point uh, both of them by using PTR is equal to STR. That means, PTR can store the address of STR. Address of STR. So, if you want to access the value of str then by using star ptr that means hi we can access the address we can access the value of str by using star ptr if you want to access the address of str by using ptr because the point here i will uh, assign the address of str to the pointer advantages of pointers the main advantage of pointers is the pointer can points to different data structures that is variables structures arrays unions we are already seen how the pointer can points to variables arrays strings the second advantage is dynamic memory allocation we are already learn the pointer can allocate only two bytes of memory irrespective of data type if you want to increase that size then we use dynamic memory allocation the next advantage is accessing array elements we can already seen how to access array elements using pointers for example if you want to declare a pointer variable int star ptr and array int arr of 4 ptr is equal to address of arr then we access the first element of the ptr by using star ptr so star ptr then we we access the first array element using this we can access the array element the next advantage is passing arguments to functions by reference is nothing but address this is done by using call by reference the next advantage is the execution speed of the program will be increased these are the main advantages of the pointers the next concept is array of pointers or pointer array similar to normal array array of pointers can be created the main difference between them is in array of pointers star is used in front of the array name here i will take the example int star ptr of 10 here i will create the pointer array with size 10 i will take the array name ptr and data type int this statement can create the array of 10 pointer elements all are belongs to integer type here i want to initialize five pointer array elements for that reason i will create five integer variables p q or s t i will initialize p is equal to 1 q is equal to 2 r is equal to 3 s is equal to 4 t is equal to 5 now i will start to initialize the first pointer array element with address p this is done by ptr of 0 is equal to address of p that means ptr of 0 contains the address of p next initializing the second pointer array element with address of q that this is done by ptr of 1 is equal to address of q address of Q. That means the PTR of 1 contains the address of Q. Similarly, PTR of 2 is equal to address of R. PTR of 3 is equal to address of S. PTR of 4 is equal to address of T. If you want to print the PTR of 0, means it prints the address of P. 
if you want to print the value of p then use the star ptr that means ptr of 0 contains the address of p star ptr of 0 means value of p next example program for array of pointers we'll take three normal integer variables that is that are p q r s and i will take five pointer array elements that is declared by int star ptr of five therefore these statements can create the five pointer array elements out of five i will assign three pointer array elements first ptr of zero is equal to address of p next ptr of one is assigned with address of q next ptr of two is assigned with address of r that means ptr of zero contains the address of p ptr one contains the address of q ptr three two contains the address of r if you want to print the ptr of zero that means this will this statement will print the address of p if you want to access the value of p through pointers then use star ptr of zero that means ptr of zero is address of p star ptr of zero means the value of p next printf value of p that means here the statement will print the value of p value of p is one so value of p is one next statement is value available at star ptr of zero star ptr of zero percentage d so in this place the value of star ptr of zero is printed what is mean by star ptr of zero ptr of zero means address of p star ptr of zero means value of p value of p is one therefore value available at star ptr of zero is equal to one similarly value of q the next statement is value of q value of q is 2 therefore it prints the value of q 2 the next statement is value available at star ptr of 1 this place star ptr of 1 value will be printed so value available at star ptr 1 ptr 1 means address of q address of q therefore star ptr 1 means value of q value of q is 2 therefore it will be print the 2 the next statement is value of r value of r is 3 therefore it prints the value of r 3 the next statement is value available at star ptr of 2 in this place the value of star ptr 2 will be printed the value of ptr 2 is 3 this is the example program for array of pointers thank you